to my YouTube channel and today's video I have another Mediterranean video for you guys. In today's video I'm going to give you guys a 7 day Mediterranean diet meal plan. But before we get into the video make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. Alright, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about here is about building a meal plan. So the Mediterranean diet is plant forward. It's not plant based, it's not vegetarian, it's not vegan, it's plant forward. So they put more of a focus on plant foods than they do other different types of diets. So veggies, whole grains, and legumes can make up an entire meal, if not most of it, for a typical meal on the Mediterranean diet. When cooking these foods, yes, cooking them, not just buying processed foods at the store. You're going to be using healthy fats such as olive oil to cook and a lot, a lot of spices is definitely a must. Meals typically include smaller portions of fish, meat, or eggs and then as far as drinks and beverages go, it's going to be water, sparkling water, and moderate amounts of red wine. If you haven't seen it already, I have a ton of other Mediterranean diet videos Mediterranean Diet 101, just different things that I kind of really dive into and go deep with all these different topics that have to do with the Mediterranean Diet. So if you guys want, I can totally link that down below in the description box for you guys to check that out once you're done with this one. So before I get into the actual meal plan, I'm quickly just going to go over some foods to avoid if you're trying to stick with a Mediterranean diet. So definitely refined grains is going to be number one. So that's going to be your white bread, your white pasta, your pizza dough if it's made with white flour, that kind of stuff. Your refined oil, so that's going to include canola and soybean oils, so nothing refined here, no refined grains, oils. Foods with added sugar, so pastries, sodas, and candies. Deli meats, so processed meats like hot dogs, for example. And processed or packaged foods. So now we're going to get into the meal plan. So I have a seven day meal plan for you guys. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all seven days. And then I have different options or ways to kind of modify them or maybe add some more calories here and there. So let's get into it. Okay, so for day one's breakfast, we're going to have a slice of whole wheat toast, we're going to have one pan fried egg, and some grilled tomatoes. Now if you want to add some calories here, all you're going to do is either add another egg and pan fry it out, or add some avocado to your toast first. Okay, so for lunch, we're going to have a simple salad and then an another little snack. So for lunch, you're going to have a couple cups of some mixed greens, you're going to have some cherry tomatoes, some olives, and a dressing with, you know, olive oil and vinegar. And if you haven't seen it already, I can show you guys my version of another Greek dressing that has just a couple more spices and I oomph it up a little bit. I'll make sure to link that in the description box as well. And then we're going to have some whole grain pita bread with some hummus. Delicious! Now for dinner, we're going to have some whole grain pizza with some tomato sauce, some grilled veggies, and some low-fat cheese. Now for more calories, you can go ahead and add some pine nuts, you can add a meat, you can add some shredded chicken. Super delicious, and if you haven't seen it already, I have kind of like a Mediterranean Greek-style pizza that I made with pita bread, if you guys want to check that out. So, so good. I have that for lunch all the time. Okay, so day two. For our breakfast here, we're going to have some Greek yogurt with some fruit. So blueberries, raspberries, nectarines, something like that. And if you want to add some calories here, you can go ahead and add some walnut, walnuts, walnuts, <laughs> or some walnuts. Walnuts or walnuts? Walnuts or almonds? Oh my, I can't, I can't even talk. Now for lunch, we're going to have a sandwich and some whole grain bread with some grilled veggies. So eggplant, zucchini, bell peppers, onions, those will all work here. I usually like to mix an onion with another vegetable, so maybe like the peppers, for example. For more calories on your sandwich, you can spread some hummus or some more of the avocado on the bread before you add in all the veggies and fillings. For dinner, we're going to have some fish, so a baked cod or a salmon with just garlic and black pepper as our seasoning, and a potato with olive oil and some chives. So good. Now day three. So breakfast here is going to be some whole grain oats. So good. We're going to have cinnamon, dates, and honey here. And it'd be good here to top it with a lower sugar fruit just for some sweetness, so something like raspberries. Then again for more calories here, you're just going to want to add some almonds or walnuts. There we go. Now for lunch, we're going to have some boiled white beans with some spices. 
so garlic and cumin work really well here. Then we're gonna have another side salad here, but this time with arugula instead of all the mixed greens, and we're gonna have our dressing, tomatoes, cucumbers, and of course, our feta cheese. For dinner, we're finally gonna have our pasta, so half a cup of whole grain pasta. And we're gonna have some tomato sauce, olive oil, and grilled veggies here too. Except we're going to be adding just a little bit of that Parmesan cheese. So good. Day four, we're gonna have two scrambled eggs here with some more veggies. So bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes. So good. Then we're gonna top that here with one quarter of an av avocado or some queso fresco. Now for lunch here, we're gonna have some roasted anchovies with whole wheat bread, some olive oil, and some lemon juice. And then we're gonna have a warm salad here with some steamed kale and some tomatoes. For dinner here, we're gonna have a couple cups couple cups of steamed spinach with lemon juice and herbs. Now, lemon and herbs, you're going to see that a lot. <laughs> then we're going to have one boiled artichoke with olive oil, garlic, and salt. And if you want to add another artichoke for a healthy filling meal with more calories, that's what you want to do here. Day five. So for breakfast here, again, we're going to have another variation of our Greek yogurt. So here we're going to mix in some cinnamon and honey, and we're going to mix in an apple with our almonds. If you haven't tried this, you guys have to. Now for lunch, we're going to have our quinoa with some bell peppers, tomatoes. Oh, so good. And I like to add olives to this recipe. Then we're going to have some roasted chickpeas with some lemon and thyme. Lemon and thyme are so good. Chickpeas are like my weakness. Everybody makes fun of me here because I'll just like literally take a can of chickpeas and just eat them with lemon and olive oil. That's all I need. <laughs> now for more calories here, the avocado was a great bet or even some feta cheese to drizzle on top. Drizzle. Sprinkle. Crumble. Whatever. Now for dinner, we're going to have some steamed kale with a ton of veggies and Parmesan cheese. So we're going to have our tomatoes, our cucumber, and our olives, and I like to drizzle with some lemon juice. Delicious. And then you're also going to add a portion of some sardines with some lemon on top, too. Are you guys hungry yet? You hungry? You hungry? You hungry? Okay, so day six. Now we're going to have two slices of our whole grain toast with a soft cheese. So something like a ricotta or goat cheese, something like that. If you want to add some sweetness, then all you're going to want to do is add some blueberries or some figs or something like that to just bring out some sweetness. So for lunch, we're going to have a salad with some mixed greens, cucumbers, tomatoes, and a small posted, a posted, and a small portion of roasted, posted roasted, roasted chicken with some olive oil and some lemon juice. And for dinner, we're going to have a cup of couscous and we're going to roast some veggies in the oven. Now these, you're going to cook in olive oil and a bunch of herbs like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Now this could include eggplant, zucchini, potato, tomato, artichokes, all that good stuff. And we're here. We're here. We're at our seventh day, the end of the week. Let's see our final three meals. Now for breakfast, we have another oat variation. This one's, this one's a good one. So we have our whole grain oats with cinnamon, dates, and maple syrup. Oh. <laughs> Make sure it's pure maple syrup though. Now because we have the maple syrup, we're going to want to top with a low sugar fruit. So something like a raspberry again or a blackberry. And for lunch, we're going to have a little bit of a vegetable stew. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have zucchini, yellow squash, onion, potato, and tomato all in this delicious herb sauce. For dinner, we're going to have another salad. So you're going to pick a green that can be arugula, it can be spinach, doesn't matter. And then you're going to have tomatoes, olives, olive oil, same good stuff. Then you're going to add a small portion of white fish. And then we're Greek and you're going to want to, oh, we're Greek. We're Mediterranean, and we're going to want to incorporate those leftovers that you had from lunch, so we're going to add in a little bit of that stew, too. Okay, but we're not done just yet, because now we have our snacks. <laughs> now, every diet needs a snack. I know sometimes people are like, you know, I have this strict diet, but, like, if I'm hungry in the middle of the day, like, don't go hungry because you don't want to have a whole nother full meal. Like, it's okay to have a snack. So if you're following the Mediterranean diet, I'm going to give you some great snack options that go along with that diet. So great options for you are going to be, you know, a small serving of nuts, whole fruits. So that's going to be oranges, plums, grapes, dried fruits. So 
apricots or figs, but just make sure they're not candied fruits because then that totally defeats the purpose. You're already getting that extra sweetness naturally that's coming out when you draw the fruits. And if you're now rolling them in sugars and everything else, like totally defeats the purpose. If you haven't seen it already, definitely check out my homemade fruit roll recipe video. That's going to be very similar to what I did there. Um, another one is going to be a small serving of yogurt, hummus with some veggies. Probably my favorite from out of these. <laughs> and finally, some avocado toast. Just make sure it's a whole grain toast and you'll be good to go. Alright guys, well there you have it. There's my 7 day Mediterranean diet meal plan for you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you guys tried out. Of course, I'm going to have everything listed down below in the description box so you don't have to kind of go through and figure out what the heck did you say for day 6 meal 2 me I I'm confused. <laughs> So I'll have everything down below. If you guys are interested in any recipes that I don't have on my channel, definitely let me know in the description box in the comment section. Oy. And I'll respond to you guys and I can give you guys some nice recipes. And maybe, maybe I'll make some videos. Hmm. But that's all I have for this video today, you guys. Definitely make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up if you liked it, which I don't know why you wouldn't. But as always, if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.